man has ea been decent to us this weekend with the amount of information that they're giving us in regards to the new ea sports college football game ea sports college football 25 um on thursday they released you know the uh, the hype trailer essentially for the game showing off the attention to detail all the teams in the game as well as uh just some of the like in-game footage we think um for the games the graphics look crazy friday or saturday they released like a lot of details about the game that's gonna let us know you know different features and things like that so i'm gonna kind of walk through the the feature list from the game um and see kind of what's going on with the game um but you can see uh from the website um the ea sports college football 25 like home page um and it looks like the game is going to be exclusively be for playstation 5 and series x um and x uh, it's not going to be coming out on pc um, we also have some more information on the features and modes straight from the development team. Um, and we will hopefully get some more in-depth content over the summer as we await that July 19th launch date. There's a new engine that they're using called Campus IQ um, that allows for what they're calling um, explosive gameplay across 134 schools. Um, for the first time ever, uh, EA is saying athletes like Twin Ewers, Donovan Edwards, and Travis Hunter are in the game thanks to groundbreaking NIL deals in collegiate sports. Saturday will never be the same as you immerse yourself in the iconic atmospheres of college football and etch your own college legacy. Let's dive into all the features, modes, presentation, and more coming when the game releases worldwide on July 19th. So uh, as you can see here, um, Campus IQ, it says to immerse yourself in authentic, fast-paced college football gameplay with Campus IQ, a suite of features to deliver wide open, fast-paced and uniquely college football gameplay. Um, I think this is one of the things that a lot of people are really concerned about is the fact that people are worried it's going to be uh, a Madden reskin, which NCAA kind of always has been, but it's always had its own like drivers behind it. So like, NCAA has always felt a little bit faster, a little bit looser, like um, just a little bit more fast paced in regards to like the pacing of play. Um, and it's just kind of had its own its own identity. And so I think Campus IQ is going to be able to to address that and make sure that the game is not just a Madden reskin. Um, some of the things that they are saying that Campus IQ is going to bring to the game are wide open, fast paced gameplay, which is what I just talked about, wear and tear um is the new injury system um but the wear and tear in regards to substitutions and things like that um at it, it talks about how as hit, hits add up players wear down um managing your players health limit fatigue assess risk of injury and avoid on-field mistakes by using strategic substitutions to ensure your players are at their best when it counts most one thing that i am concerned about that is that in ncaa 14 there was a really intelligent um like formation subs system as well as fatigue based substitutions that you could set up with your percentages that it worked really well that madden has fallen off and not done a good job in regards to substitutions um but this is a cool new system to have to like you know if your senior wide receiver is you know y'all are making a drive in the last two minutes of of a half and you need him to come off for a play so that so that he can rest so you can have your final little toss downfield or if your running back needs to switch out so he doesn't get hurt or you know corners are getting tired because your defense is getting uh, you know blasted off off the line by a high powered air raid offense it adds a little bit of depth and a little bit more um like realism or at least immersion into the game which is pretty cool the pre-snap recognition i think is going to be pretty interesting um it seems like they're going to give different uh like grade levels or different like class levels uh different abilities as they played more uh so being able to like read the defense better your players awareness will come into play but i think they might have just based on fifa and madden they may have different like you know in fifa it's called a play style plus but they may have different like abilities to be able to read the player if it's like a five star you know kid out of out of high school maybe he's got better abilities than like a two-star juco player or vice versa maybe the juco player will have better pre-snap recognition things like that another big thing is game, uh, home field advantage one of the biggest things in college is is atmospheres which i think is why 
this this trailer was so good is, is because it did show off so many of the different college atmospheres college traditions you know even the like the the turnover belt or like the um you know rubbing uh, howard's rock at clemson they didn't show auburn but if they'd showed auburn you know having the eagle flying around the stadium would be super sick or having you know uh beavis i think is the name of the of the, the longhorn at texas but having beavis come out or like the duck riding out with oregon things like that it's just super cool to see um the amount of detail that they're paying to the things that mean the most to colleges it, it was a huge part of the original like i say original but ncaa 14 when you could build up your coaches uh coaching tree uh to get better advantages at home and to kind of mitigate those advantages away from home um so i'm interested to see how they incorporate composure confidence levels um as they play through those distractions like the screen shaking missing pre-play icons and moving play art that's nothing new if you've ever played uh uh, an NCAA game. As a part of that home field advantage, uh, this portion of iconic atmospheres is going to be really cool. Um, it talks about from the big house to the swamp, from Tuscaloosa to College Station. Experience the decibel shaking soundscape of college football, putting you inside the stadium alongside all the iconic rituals and traditions that make you feel right at home. Um, as an Auburn fan, obviously, I would love to see them do the Eagles flight at the beginning of the game, all yelling War Eagle, or even getting the chants from Auburn, like Bottegetta, track them. Um, it seems like they want to bring back the pageantry and tradition. Um, you've got the commentary cast of Chris Fowler and Kirk Herbstreet, as they call marquee matchups, while they have Reese Davis, Jesse Palmer, and David Pollock take the mic for the other games. Um, it'll be cool to see just the sights and the sounds in between plays and just like being able to uh, make those calls uh, and see the atmosphere while you're playing the game. I'm interested to see the picture-in-picture -picture play call system, what that's actually going to look like. But yeah, in the pageantry and traditions, they mention the unique runouts, rivalry rituals. So like you, you see like Wisconsin, you know, cutting down the field goal post in, in the video. Crowd chants, I would love to see the crowd chants. Obviously, I don't want to hear them say Roll Tide a million times, but it'll be cool to hear Auburn do it. Even like the Giggum stuff, like A&M has some like traditions, but they're, you know, cool and uh, exciting to do. Um, the fact that they're going to have get real game day audio is really cool because it means they've probably been recording some of this stuff for quite a while. Um, and with the mention of mascots, I really hope they have the mascot games just because those were goofy and fun. And um, also, Aubie is notoriously one of the best uh, mascots. Now the part that you all have probably been waiting for, which is the game modes within College Football 25. There's some exciting news um, about the types of games that you'll be able to play, the depth of those gameplay, as well as some features that they're bringing back that help to enhance all of those different game modes that they're bringing back to the game. Um, I think that with, you know, 11 years off, two years in development, I think this is going to be a great, um, a great new game. Um, they're trying to set a new standard for college football greatness in the classic modes like Dynasty and Road to Glory. Um, they're going to challenge, be challenging and allow you to recruit a winning roster, develop a coaching staff, and lead your program to the natty as a creative coach or balance student athlete life and take home the Heisman as a player in that Road to Glory. The biggest thing that I was concerned about with the Dynasty mode was I didn't initially see that they were having the um, online dynasty, but it does look like you can take your team to the next level in online dynasty where up to 32 players can compete against each other on and off the field. So it's going to be really cool to have that be an official part of the game again, to bring it back. Um, dynasty was always a huge part of what I liked playing. I liked taking a cupcake school and turning them into a five-star program. Um, it's in this mode, you can create a coach, take control, upgrade their abilities. Same sort of idea with like the coaching tree from NCAA 14. I'm sure we'll get uh, more details with that. Um, and build a powerhouse program uh, there at whatever college you select. As the coach, you want to build your coaching staff. They're really impactful on the way that players play, the way that their skills upgrade and things like that. Um, and then you have a focus on recruiting the best talent either straight out of high school or from the, the transfer portal which is something that I'm very interested in seeing how they implement, especially with some of the problems that are going on with the, uh, the transfer portal right now anyways. Road to Glory is another like beloved old school
school uh, type of, uh, of mode where you get to create your own player and have them uh, work towards you know being the best player in college football. Winning that Heisman Trophy is always the goal. National championships also. Like you just have your one player that you're watching, developing, and building. Um, and I'm curious to see how they implement some of the, you know, in the old school ones like 08, 09, maybe even before that, they had like stuff you had to do around campus and, and, you know, doing like your homework and stuff that was not necessarily super engaging, but it was interesting from like a, an immersion perspective. Um, but it does look like they are bringing back um, the ability of folks to, you know, manage their weekly schedule as well as. Um, you know, go to classes every week, you know, manage your image, which name, image, and likeness is a huge thing. Um, so I'm trying to see how they, you know, potentially incorporate that, your GPA, stuff like that. Um, and you always had to build coach trust. So like you can either create yourself as a bad player and, you know, work your way up through the ranks um, or, you know, be like some baller straight out of high school and come and take the, the starting position at, at whatever school you choose. Um, it looks like you can use the transfer portal to get the time and the glory you deserve. Um, so that'll be an interesting aspect where like if you haven't found a way to build a coach's trust or there are like events that you have to achieve a certain thing and you miss it or whatever and you can move on eventually. I I'm sure there's a lot of really cool things with that. College Football Ultimate Team, um, you know, they mentioned building the dream team of college football stars and legends, play solo challenges or head-to-head -head seasons to upgrade your squad, take on the toughest contests, test your skills across consoles in more competitive formats, like college football ultimate team champs and champs gauntlet so really similar to madden ultimate team or uh you know fc ultimate team uh in fc 24 i'm sure i'll try out college football ultimate team but i'm more excited about doing online dynasties with my buddies i don't really care about using all the different especially in college like i don't care about using you know all the different college football players i want to use the the team that i built i want to use the team that that are even if it's 10 years into a dynasty, I wanna know that I built this team, not necessarily that you know, it's college football dudes that are playing on my team. And if you're a year from now, like when, you know, if they release college football 25 or if they stick with a two year cycle, who knows? Um, you know, it'll be really interesting to see how this pans out. Um, and I just, I would rather spend my time potentially doing dynasty mode stuff whether it be offline or online than ultimate team, just cause I've played a lot of FC 24 and it can be kind of a grind, but it still does look interesting and challenging people will be fun. I just am afraid it's gonna be like a lot of other modes like pay to win type stuff. Um, there is a road to the college football playoff uh, mode uh, that it looks like you can pick your, let's see, experience a new way to play competitively across consoles. In the road to the college football playoff, will you represent your university or take a power school to climb the poles? Earn rank by rank, upsetting the toughest opponents and securing the votes you need to progress and level up divisions. Stack wins to earn your chance at making the playoffs and take home the national championship. Uh, this kind of sounds like seasons in in like old FIFA where you can kind of rank through the divisions and then go into a tournament to like try and prove that you can win the national championship. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a single season where like you play and win and earn points to go to the college football playoff or if it's kind of like running through the ranked or, or like rivals mode in FC 24. We'll, we'll have to see, but it does sound cool. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna try all these different modes. I'm super excited about dynasty mode. Online dynasty is like my favorite thing. I have so many hours of me and my buddies playing um, in the NCAA, I think it was 12, the one that Tim Tebow was on the cover of. Uh, we just played the heck out of it in high school, 10th graders, juniors in high school, just like going crazy. One thing that is back that a lot of people are really excited about to help bring, you know, your own character uh, to the game is the team builder. Team builder is back. It's going to be huge for creating your own program um, that allows you to customize them using the team builder website, which eventually went down previously after the NCAA 14 went down, but you know, they stopped doing that. People have had to use like all the developer tools, but you can design your own uniforms, helmets, fields, and upload your own logo and then upload your program to use in either play now or in dynasty mode. Um, the only like caveat for this is that team builder content can only be used in the offline play now and private dynasty modes. So there's no, you can't upload a team and then use them in an online dynasty, which is kind of a bummer because 
one of my favorite things that my stepbrother and I did was to take Montana State and Montana and create a rivalry, you know, in two different divisions and to essentially, well, same conference, different divisions and, you know, bring in a terrible, like less than half star team and try and build them and compete against each other using those teams. Luckily, there's 134 teams within College Football 25, so there shouldn't be much running out of who you want to use and and hopefully they keep it updated in in some pretty cool ways but yeah it looks like you can use the team builder later this summer hopefully we'll be able to see and potentially start creating teams earlier in the development cycle but as for now it looks like that's all college football and ea have put out at the moment lots of exciting news love to see the fact that dynasty is back that online dynasty is back um, it'll be really cool to see just the different little play now modes that they add um, and how the gameplay develops and how ea releases more information um, and lets us know um, kind of what they're doing but uh, i'm really excited about the game i can't wait for it to come out i know you guys are probably excited too be on the lookout for more ea uh, sports college football 25 content as we get more news i'll be releasing uh, more videos like this as well as uh, still playing through the college football revamped uh, dynasty that i'm going through but if you like the video please feel free to leave a like um, and if you want to see more in the future subscribe down below thank you guys so much see you